happy Monday. Um, yeah, just got home from work and running a few errands for myself. <gasps> this suck has a hole in it. Um, and I'm making myself some lunch because I'm hungry. Um, plans for today, Tuesday. Um, not much. Sit in it probably all day. Um, yeah. Work was really, really slow today, but then I got super busy near the end, which is always annoying, but I got a decent amount of tips, so I'm not that upset. Um, what else? What else? Not much else. Not much else. I am, for lunch, I'm going to make, I'm going to warm up a bagel that I took from work, um, and I'm going to have a bagel spam sandwich. That's going to be my lunch today. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I will check in with you guys later today. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, it's about almost six o'clock now. Um, putting my knitting down for a little bit because I've been doing too much color work. Um... I'm just browsing Ikea's website because I think I might go to Ikea today or sometime soon and get a buffet table for my kitchen or something because I just need more storage space slash this, like a like a, an appliance place to put my, some appliances. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. It's just looking at Ikea. Ooh. Yeah, so if I go to Ikea, I'll probably also venture over to the Mall of America and see what's happening over there. I don't know. But, yeah, I've been watching, I caught up on all the vlogmases that I missed, that, or not that I missed, for today, and, yeah, I did some rearranging of some things. I kind of am feeling like I want to, like, fully rearrange my apartment, but I think I might wait to do that until the new year. So, yeah, we shall see how that goes. So, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you are knitting on during this Christmas season. Did you get an advent calendar at all? Um, I didn't get an advent calendar this year, but I did purchase the holiday box from Le Garçon. Um, so I will be starting to open that on the 14th of December, so that's very exciting. I'm very excited about that. I'm excited to knit the pattern that came, that is coming with it. So yeah, we'll see you guys. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, I just got home from work and running some errands. Now I'm enjoying um, my coffee. I put my coffee in my fridge when I went and ran errands. I For my shift drink today, I got a pumpkin white crafted press with caramel um, because I was making a customer's pumpkin crafted press that she gets every day and the pump was broken. And I went to little, like, do the little, like, dump the pumpkin syrup into her crafted press, I pumped, I dumped way too much. So I was like, well, I kind of wanted, I was feeling kind of pumpkin-y today. So I made myself a very pumpkin-y white crafted press with caramel. It's delicious. Um, so yeah, I have, so it's about two o'clock. I have mm, two and a half-ish hours, a little bit more, um, until I have to go to the Ordway Center of Performing Arts to work. Um, I am working a show of Beauty and the Beast today at the box office, so I have to find out what I want to do before then. I, yesterday I went to Ikea and I got a little unit to do some storage in my kitchen, so I might just put that together real quick and see how that goes. Just so I know it's set up and I know where I want it, um, and then I'll figure everything else out later with that, um, and then work on, work on some knitting. 
I think I'm gonna work on my nephew's sweater today a little bit so I can get his sleeves done. Um, and I might bring his sweater to work today and a, and a hat that I'm just neglecting the decreases on. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, enjoy the rest of my Wednesday. Wednesday, December 7th, 2020. Thursday, um, December 8th, uh, it's day 8 of Advent, um, if you guys are enjoying this, um, episode as of now, um, as you just saw, I was knitting on the sleeves of my nephew's, um, flax sweater, and I got to the 8 inch mark, which is what I think I need to be at, um, before I start my increases, um, I'll look again if it's 9 inches, I'll knit on it the one more inch um as I look at my stitch gauge for the body of my sweater and my sleeves I think my stitches are a lot tighter on my sleeve eh, whatever I don't care he'll be fine I'll probably I'll try to block it out but I mean who cares really I don't I might not even wear it I'll just make him put it on Christmas day that's all I care about um so yeah um I don't work at all today like, literally, I have, like, nothing to do today. Um, I am going back to Ikea today to pick up, um, something that I forgot to buy. Um, so the shoving unit that I made yesterday, um, the legs come separately, but they come in two packs, which is dumb. Um, so I only bought one two-pack. So yesterday, I went online and I placed an order for another two packs so I could use four, have four legs, you know, on my shelf, which makes sense. Because I can't, like, screw things into the wall in my apartment without, like, being charged. So I don't want to, like, have to, like, secure anything to the wall. Which I know is technically, like, not good. Like, most of my furniture pieces in my apartment need to be, like, secured to walls so they don't topple over. But, like, I'm also not a an infant. So, like, I think it should be fine. Um, so I'm going to Ikea today to pick that up. And I think I might shop, like, just, like, look around at Ikea. I don't really need anything. But I also might be going, I might just browse at the Mall of America for a little bit. There's a store I want to head into and maybe get a new, like, yarn bag. Knitting, like, carry-all cute bag. Um, which I'll show you guys later when I go on my mall trip. Um knitting plans today um I don't know if I want to finish my nephew's sweater mm, no I have plenty of time I I got to the the decreases for the sleeves so I'll be fine with that but um I kind of want to knit on my poof that I've had on my needles forever try to get that done um that shouldn't take me too long if I don't if I get back if I get back home around noon, I should have it, I mean, I could have it done possibly by the end of the day today, so that would be really awesome. Um, but I also do have to do some knitting on my sister-in-law's sweater as well. Um, and I also kind of want to pick up my next, my other side of my Stephen West shawl. I don't think I'll be doing any sweater, advent sweater knitting for myself today. Um... 
I might finish my chart because I know I don't have that much farther to go on the chart that I'm on. I don't know yet. We shall see what the day entails. Um, but yeah, I also, well, okay, so here's the thing. So I'll drive to Ikea, then I'll go to the mall for a little bit. And I think I'm going to drive down to Hastings and drop off the Christmas gifts at my old caribou. Just so I know I've like dropped them off and I don't need to like worry about it at all. So I think I'll do that. And then while I'm in town, I might stop at Muse and wind up some things. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. That's pretty much the plan. Kind of a busy day, day eight, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys around. Enjoy the day. <laughs> that when I got home from work. Um, this morning I worked, I opened, and I, um, my manager reminded me that today was my first day as like a shift lead technically, or like with my promotion. So I worked, oh, I worked with um, my pay raise for the first time today, which is super exciting. And I even worked like three extra hours to cover uh, another coworker. So that was fun. And then now I'm in Hastings right now. I stopped by muse to grab some yarn to finally finish that poof that i was working on last night i'm gonna finish it tonight I'm so excited um it's the lady next to me staring at me because i'm talking to my car whatever um so i got that and then i bought some more yarn for a sweater project because why not um so my goal for tonight when i get home is to finish knitting my poof i'm gonna finish at least knitting it and then maybe I'll stuff it. I don't know yet. Depends on how I'm feeling and how much I want to wrestle with the, I don't know, 
yeah, so we'll see what I do exactly tonight, but I also need to work on some other projects other than that poof. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, so I'm about to head home right now, and I'm gonna get some knitting done. Um, tomorrow is a long day. I'm working like, I'm working nine hours tomorrow, but not at Caribou, at the Old Way. Oh goodness. It is a two-show day tomorrow, so I'm working 12.30 to 9.30. Ugh, and I'm not excited to see how that'll go. Um, apparently we do lunch or, like, dinner together as a box office, and I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, so I should make sure I have some cash on hand or something. I just dropped off some of my tips at the bank in Hastings because I needed... I just needed to get rid of the cash that I had on hand, so... Yeah, that was exciting. Well, I will see you guys at home with some knitting content. Bye. All right. Hi, guys. Um, I'm just going to pop in. I just got home from an amazing day out and about. Um, so I'm going to show you a few of the things that I got in the last few days. Oh, I forgot one thing. Okay, there we go. I'll grab it. Okay, so... Yesterday, I went to the Mall of America, and I got myself something for my birthday that I was th thinking about getting, and then actually got. So, I went to the Fjall Raven store, and I got a Fjall Raven bag. It's my first one, and I put some pins on it. These pins are from my um, Les Garçons uh mystery mansion um pen this is the sagittarius um star sign um the constellation this is a pen i got um after i didn't get it after winning the escape room but i bought it after we beat the escape room for a friend's birthday this is a pen of a naked man like he's fully naked i'm just covering up his junk for youtube and then this is a crazy Crafty Monkey, Crafty Like a Monkey stitch marker, or um, pin. And yeah, so those are the pins I got on this. This is the re-wool bag, so it's a wool bag um, with the canvas wax other side. And then I also got this cool um, strap, rainbow, rainbow chest strap. So I'm gonna use this as a project bag in the coming in the, come, in the future. So that's exciting. And then yesterday, I also, on my way home, because I had stopped down at Hastings again yesterday because I had to fill up my car. On my way home, I stopped at Target because I had a, I had a spend, a uh, buy of $50 or more in a Lego set and get a $10 gift card. So I bought um, a bouquet, a flower bouquet set. There that is. And then I got a $10 gift card this was more than fifty dollars so um yeah i have another lego flower set it's a succulent i'm gonna put that right there it's a succulent set but i don't remember where i put it i'll find it eventually i'm not too worried about it um and then today i had to go back down into town because i ran out of yarn that i said i would for um, a project. Um, and when I was there, Sarah and a few other amazing friends were down there knitting and just hanging out. Um, so I got to talk with them and catch up, which was really nice. But they convinced me to um, just make like a little faded gradient on my poof that I'm knitting. So um, I bought more, more yarn, um, more of the KFI collection macrame cotton. But instead of, so my original like color that I was doing, I was originally doing Storm, Storm I think, I think that's what the gray was called, Storm and it was a stark gray and then the second set of Storm that I got was like a lighter gray of it and they both had, con two of the people there had convinced me, oh just make it like a gradient and just do one more shade lighter. So I picked up Fog, which is a shade lighter than what I already have. So I'm gonna finish that, hopefully I'm gonna finish that today and just be done with that. So there's these two that I bought at Muse today. And then I saw these skeins yesterday and I wanted to pick them up because I am currently ripping out a sweater that has um, a Surrey lace in this same 
colorway, so I wonder if the camera's gonna blow it out. Ooh. So this is highlighter. And obviously it's like a highlighter yellow. I don't know how true to color that is. It's coming off not it's coming off bluer. I think it's because the reflection off of the snow on the house beside me. That's a truer. Holding it here, it is very much a neon, and I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna knit a sweater. A sw I'm gonna knit a sweater. I think I might knit a cozy classic raglan out of it. Um, yeah. Mockingbird 2080 20 in green nylon. So those are the yarns that I bought. And then I had to go a a next door to Spiral Brewery to get a gift card for a gift. Um, and then I did that and I also picked up a seltzer, um, the mango peach hard seltzer. So yeah, and then I also, they have a new, they have a new brew, it's a spiced ale, it's called uh, Hastings Hibernation. And I asked the barkeep if I could try some, and it was very good. And I'm not very much like a beer, beer drinker. I, I drink seltzers, I drink wine, I'll drink spirits. But um, my goodness, that was really good. So um, next time I'm in town, I will definitely be having a Hastings hibernation. So that was very good. And then I also had to drop, stop by my old work, my old caribou, and I had to drop off the, um, I didn't notice that that's right there. I had to drop off my Secret Santa gift that I knit and my boss's thank you gift that I also knit. So I did that and I also grabbed my Secret Santa gift, which is really awesome. I'm happy that that was there and I didn't have to make more than one trip back down even though I already had to, but whatever. So I'm going to open it right now. I kind of already had a peek, um, but I'm going to open it with you guys. Part of the crinkle. see what was written on this. That's hilarious. So, um, whoever had me, they didn't put their name on this. Maybe it'll, maybe I'll find it later somewhere. Um, they got me a star, um, waffle maker and it says, Zach, you are such a super star. Hmm. Looking at the handwriting, I don't know. I don't remember who all was on the list. So, but whatever. Oh, so cute. And I'm making waffles tonight for dinner because of it. So I also went and I bought some stuff to make waffles. And the person also got me a paint set, some little palettes, and some paints. I do already have some paints though, so, but it's always good to have more paints. That's exciting. Yeah. Cool. I'm excited. So, thank you. Um, you're probably not watching this, whoever was my secret fan, but now I have a bag. I have a bag that I can reuse. That's exciting. I don't know. So, well, okay, perfect. Um, that's all. Um, I will check in with you guys later today or see you tomorrow.
you can hear me well, but if not, I'll just re-record it. Heading back to my car after my long shift at the Ordway. I'm so tired, but I want to try to get this edited and at least downloaded onto my computer to upload tomorrow morning. So that is my plan for when I get home. Made a lot of progress on my sister-in-law's sweater, which I am super happy about. Um, so yeah, I think I probably will knit one more of each color before I do the ribbing. Um, but I'm going to knit one more of each color. I'm going to start the sleeves and do the sleeves because the ribbing will not take me that long. I'm going to try to get the sleeves done. So, I mean, technically her birthday is the 13th. I mean, I think I probably could have it done by then. I don't know. Ooh, Ooh excuse me. Anyways, I'm about to get into my parking garage, so I will see you guys all later. Um, but yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I did listen to that clip, and you could hear me, so um, I didn't really fully sign off on that, but um, I thought I'd just do it quickly right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this um, episode of days 6 through 10 of Vlogmas. Um these last five days were super busy and super packed and this video is like almost 30 minutes long sorry um so again thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a good rest of your day whenever you decide to watch this um thank you all for who is watching this um i'll i'll leave a link below to all the podcasts that i am watching all the vlog misses that i'm watching um, I want to give a big shout out. Thank you to um, Crafty Christina and Made by Maddie um, for shouting me out on their podcast. Um, I got a few new subscribers today and that makes me feel really good. Um, I'd really love to get close to a thousand um, next year and that would be really awesome. But we're, I think I'm at about 800 or something. So that's crazy to think. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy please like, comment, subscribe, go, feel free to go back and watch my latest podcast is an hour long, but it's a good one. Um, so yeah, yeah, there's that. Anything else that I need to say? Um, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry, um, Knit Knack Zach. Um, and then also, yeah, I also do have a Ko-Fi account, which is linked below. Um, if you're able to help, that's really awesome. If not, don't worry about it. You're fine. Um, so yeah, see you guys all tomorrow and the next five days. Bye.